Hi, good morning to one and all. Uh, today's le lecture topic is uh, immediate dentures. Okay, coming to the learning outcomes. So by the end of the lecture, you should be able to identify the importance of immediate denture. Uh, categorize the types of immediate denture. Recall the clinical and lab procedures involved in fabrication of immediate dentures, okay? And outline indication, contraindication, advantage, disadvantage of immediate denture. Okay, coming to the introduction. So, following extractions, the remaining dentition, which cannot be rehabilitated, patient suffers from social indigenity and uh, functional difficulty of going without teeth for weeks. So immediate denture comes into play here and it's the best choice for when the last hopeless teeth are to be removed and the patient can be, you know, uh, spared of any embarrassment of not having any teeth. Okay, so coming to two types of immediate denture. So these are the types. This is the conventional immediate denture and interim immediate denture, CID. IID okay so uh, conventional immediate denture is after placement of immediate denture it is relined and refitted to serve as a long-term prosthesis okay this is the most commonly one which is done interim immediate denture is also done so it enhances the aesthetic stabilization functions for a limited period of time it can be done in between maybe like a FPD or maybe um, uh, implant placement, right? Like in a young patient with like a single teeth missing. So we have done this type of things in our department. Yeah. Okay, coming to Jiffy uh, denture. This is one type of interim immediate denture. Okay, so basically everything is the same. Uh, it, you know, um, all the things are same as an immediate denture except that the denture teeth are made with the tooth colored autopolymerizing acrylic resins. Okay, this is not done now very frequently. It used to be done before. Okay, so you can see that the indications are like uh, mutilated teeth, uh, teeth which cannot be rehabilitated, uh, it, the teeth which have hopeless prognosis, uh, they cannot be uh, periodontally treated, they are having grade 3 mobility, uh, occlusal plane is gone. Um, there is no attachment remaining. There's too much att attachment loss. Okay, so these are basic indications which a person would be going for an immediate denture. Okay, uh, basically a person who will be ha requiring total extraction and then can f get a uh, immediate denture fabricated if he has uh, certain social concerns or aesthetic concerns. Okay, coming to the contraindications. So, uh, uncooperative patient, patient with poor general health, poor surgical risk, multiple extractions may cause complications systemic, systemically um, are contraindicated. Of course, psychological disorder patient won't be able to handle that. Sorry. Okay, so anterior undercut. Um, the ridge may interfere with the impression procedure. Yes, because it's like a freshly extracted socket, which is not compressed in a total form. You understand? So yes, undercuts can create issues. Presence of remaining teeth at different positions. Yes, this, uh, you know, uh, seen frequently in patients with the uh, um, different occlusions and uh, mobilities and grades of different level and attachment losses. Yes, this is seen. May lead to incorrect recording of the central relation and video. Yes, you have to make sure and correct this step. You have to be careful, rather. Inability to establish a try-in stage. Yes, um, this is really hard to establish and it cannot be done, basically. Okay, more chair side time, additional appointments. Yes, additional appointments is a problem, of course. Uh, temporary impairment of speech and mastication. Yes, initially the patient will have problems. Later, patient will adjust. Wound resorption, sh shrinkage of unhealed soft tissues greater and faster may require frequent relining. So yes, in some places, the resorption shrinkage 
of the unhealed soft tissues can take place. So yes, require a storyline later. Okay, coming to the diagnosis and treatment planning and prognosis. So this treatment planning and patient education is really meticulous. Um, you know, it has a lot of clinical for performance, which, <coughs> sorry, has to be aided by careful use of tissue conditioners and, uh, sorry, and it will uh, ensure a predictable treatment outcome for most of the conventional immediate dentures, okay? So a well-planned and monitored uh, conventional immediate denture can serve as a definitive process processes for a long time long term so i have done one case in my mds times and yes the patient had used it for a long time i had to reline it i think twice but uh, the patient was happy and she was using it she was a young patient okay <coughs> so coming to clinical and lab procedures okay so first visit will be first extraction or surgical visit, okay? So you can see whatever teeth are supposed to be extracted first will be extracted. So this will be done in sectional form, okay? So, of course, sorry, before extraction, there will be oral prophylaxis. And then whichever teeth are supposed to be extracted first will be extracted. So extraction would probably start with the posterior teeth, okay? the impression primary impression diagnostic cost okay so after extraction of whatever posterior teeth uh, which we are supposed to go we will take an impression and pour a cast okay and take a bite by a single full arch custom tray or two stage custom tray okay so this is usually done when the interior teeth are still remaining so yes you have to block out all the interior teeth like we do whatever teeth are there we're supposed to block that out then um, you can uh, have the, you know, stop effect. You can have stops also placed there. Uh, you, it can be two to three mm short of the vestibular roll, um, the vestibular depth, you can say. And uh, of course, created by a resin tray, it has to have a handle, it has to be bottom molded, and an elastomeric impression has to be made after that, okay? So you can see these, okay? So first of all, um, it has been covered, okay, blocked out, and the spacer has been made. Of course, stops are made, and uh, special tray with the handle is made. Okay, so coming to two tray or sectional custom impression tray, two trays are been used. You know, first you outline the borders, use melted wax, or you know, uh, allow the melted wax to flow and cover basically the undercuts, the autopolymerizing raising should be used to cover the posterior edentulous areas. It can be used, guys, okay? So, anterior can be done with or without the tray. Posterior sectional tray is tried in, okay? So, you'll understand better when I showed you, okay? So, this is the anterior tray, the posterior tray, okay? It can be tried in with or without, okay? So, you can see this is without the anterior impression. This is with the anterior impression, okay? All right? It's taken by help of this tray, all right? So these are two trays which are using uh, this full tray. Okay. This is one other alternative to use a two-step tray, okay? So it's like a putty index which also can be used in, as an impression together with the light body impression, okay? All right, this is how it looks like. All right. Okay, coming to the jaw relation record. So an evaluation of the patient's existing VDR, uh, the vertical dimension has to be done. Undercut should be blocked out and... Um, Occlusal rim is supposed to be made. Yes, retromolar pad is taken as a guide. This is, uh, guys, following the complete danger principles. Recording by opening uh, uneven tooth loss. Video must be, you know, closed uh, because of the drift drifting and exclusion of the, like, sorry, the posterior teeth. So, uh, guys, we will have to establish a VD, R and VD. Oh, yes. Okay. Uh, of course, if you uh, are doing a phase bore transfer in a semi-adjustable articulator, then this procedure will come into play. Otherwise, uh, we are not doing it. Okay. So you can see a few teeth are remaining. We have made, uh, we have uh, created a nice gap. Uh, so the uh, uh, tray comes out easily and there's no undercut. There are record base. Uh, there are occlusal rim. Okay. So that's how it looks like. 
It's still the depth, of course. Okay, so now he's just putting it in the mouth, establishing the VDR, checking it, establishing VDO, taking a bite, okay? All right, so that is the uh, jaw relation. Now, setting denture teeth and trine. So in the conventional immediate denture, the posterior teeth are missing. So uh, trine can be done even, yes. So in that case, trine can be done, yes. Because some teeth are still present, guys. Okay, so arrangement is according to the centric occlusion. Okay, so trine is done, lower cost is remounted if required, guys. Okay, so whatever cost is required, it can be remounted. Patient's aesthetic desired can be confirmed. Midline has to be checked. Anterior occlusional plane, interpupillary guidance, everything has to be followed. And so you can see that um, there's a bite being taken and uh, uh, anterior teeth try and can be done, okay? Otherwise, these are the bite blocks for taking in a crucial. Okay, so now we have to see the high lip line. How's the lip line we're supposed to arrange and uh, uh, do the teeth setting according to that. We have to give characterization of the midline rotation. It can be discussed with the patient. Vertical, anterior vertical, and a horizontal overlap, which enhances the aesthetics and phonetics, also has to be taken care of. Then the tooth modification has to be reevaluated for uh, occlusal plane or, um, you know, centric relation. Okay, cast will be marked with all the findings of the initial intraoral examination. Okay, so everything will be marked and. Okay, now coming to the teeth arrangement, the lab phase. Okay. So now you mark an X on the tooth to be removed um, or just mark it. And with a saw or a cutting disc, you just uh, trim off the, okay? And we have to try and uh, maintain a concave, uh, you know, surface, okay? So yeah, trim the extraction side with a carbide burr, um, yeah. And uh, maintain a proper concave ridge. The facial portion can be trimmed uh, uh, conservatively to the pocket depth line, okay? So this also can be dealt with properly. This one, yeah. So uh, in our trine, you can just, um, what do you call, mark the smile line, uh, right? Incisal edge, where is exactly supposed to be? This is where the extraction is going to take place and we have done one side and then you can check that, oh, you know, here is the correct, um, uh, what do you call, lines are coinciding properly or not with the actual standards. Okay, so the lingual and the palatal tissue should be trimmed because they will collapse to a pocket depth after extraction. Okay, so these have to be trimmed off. Uh, okay, so... If you're doing an over denture, the abutments have to be 3 mm above the gingival margin. Okay, so that also can be done. The inter canine distance should be noted and, uh, you know, used a gauge and uh, measured and uh, kept. Okay, so you can see that this was removed and the tooth placement was placed. Okay, so first doing with the anterior and then um, probably... Uh, what do you call um, removal of the posterior and then doing the full denture step by step okay so trimming the cast so uh, the rule of the thirds are suggested by Kelly so uh, it recommends dividing the labial aspect of the ridge into three equal bands of space between the gingival line and the depth of vestibular space okay so this all has to be done Trimming the labial portion of the cast begins from the labio-lingual center of the ridge and is confined to the gingival and middle third, okay? So most of the trimming will be done in the gingival third. The lingual portion of the cast is contoured, smoothened, and again uh, placed and, uh, you know, uh, smoothened again by starting at the labio-lingual center of okay? So you can see they're just showing you the guide of how can you trim okay so starting from here okay and then you'll trim a little bit okay you can you can just appreciate the photos okay 
coming to this region and then smoothening out the concavity, okay? So wherever the level of the teeth are, you can see how you can uh, trim off. Because this is also a very important step. Uh, so because we are creating edentulous space on the cast, okay? All right, so the extent to which the cast is trimmed, where it is reduced, a bone height with the recession of the gingivalis. So, so if there's a recession, okay? So this would be the bone height, okay? If the recession is somewhere here, this is the bone height. So you have to just, again, the extent to which the cast is trimmed when there is a bone, um, when there is a loss of bone height without recession, okay? So there might not be recession here. You can see that the gums are also recessed down here. Only the bone is recessed down. That means there should be a pocket depth, okay? So it's just giving you a guide. Till where do you need to... Uh, make a trim of the teeth in the cast or make it eat okay coming to the wax contouring flasking and boil out so thickness of acrylic resin is needed to provide room for trimming and so boil out is de-waxing guys yeah so uh, yeah sorry so we have to relieve any sore spot a remount cast to preserve the phase four should be done for reevaluation after two to three. Okay, if you're using a semi adjustable article, if you're not, again, a reevaluation has to anyway be done. So a flasking is done in a similar manner as a conventional complete denture. Okay. Or any characteristics to be present on the denture, you can fab uh, you know do it during the wax up. All right. Coming to a surgical template. So yes, surgical templates are also made. Um, so according to Farmer 1983, surgical template is a thin transparent form, form duplicating the tissue surface of an immediate denture is used as a guide for surgically shaping the alveolar process. Okay, so it can be used as shaping the e dentulous ridge. Okay, so because you're trying to make a dentulous cast e dentulous, you're supposed to have concavity throughout, and this can be helped and used as a. Okay, so steps of fabrication. So we are here talking about steps only to fabricate a surgical template. So alginate impression at the time after de-waxing of e dentulous ridge is taken. Stone model is poured. So clear resin template on this duplicated cast are made by four methods vacuum form method sprinkle on technique and uh, you know process by template in a clear acrylic okay that is the wax of flasking or uh, heat processing and even a light curl creole acrylic, acrylic can be used okay so this clear acrylic can also be used okay so these are the four methods okay now processing and finishing of the uh, con uh, conventional, sorry, the, the CIDs, that is the conventional, <coughs> sorry, excuse me, uh, conventional immediate dentures, okay? So, uh, processed similar uh, to the uh, complete denture are the CIDs, okay? So, if a desired lab remount can be done, it should be done. Okay, so lab remount, uh, when we covered the last lecture of relining, rebasing, and denture repair, we had talked about it. Okay, guys, so lab remount can be done. It's a way of uh, relining, rebasing our denture. Okay, so we have to preserve the undercuts area of the denture slightly thick to allow the insertion over the undercuts. Okay, so again, you have to just be careful around the undercuts. Okay, and you have to have a straight line path of insertion otherwise uh, you will not be able to fit in the prosthesis uh, posterior undercuts can be retained as they provide an alternate path of insertion and withdrawal yes uh, it can be so these two concepts can come in use in certain cases not all the cases so it, these things okay any bumps inside the dentures should be relieved yes obviously and to allow the convex healing okay so both denture and surgical templates should be placed in a chemical sterilization solution in a bag for delivery okay so anything should be sterilized before using because we are you know basically dealing with some amount of blood in the mouth okay
if not too much, a little bit here and there. Okay, it's coming to the surgery and the denture insertion. So over denture abutment reductions um, can be done, sectioning of the FPDs, extraction of remaining teeth to preserve the labial plate of the bone. So these are some ways to preserve the bone, okay? Okay, and uh, a surgical template is used to do some adequate bone trimming and it should be in contact with all the tissue surface, okay? Uh, so, uh, of course, this can be checked and used for trimming sutures where required should be placed, okay? Uh, foil can be used to protect the extraction site while reducing the, you know, or denture but this is this is this one is basically is for the or denture okay okay pressure indicating areas should be trimmed okay obviously um these things have to be trimmed uh denture heel areas are checked for interest so wherever it's sorry the swelling is wrong guys sorry uh wherever it is like um healing any interferences any uh extra tissue anything has to be taken care of and uh, the counterpart in the denture has to be checked and trimmed off okay occlusal prematurities are to be corrected if any okay high points basically are to be checked phenol has to be relieved inadequate retention may require reline uh, with the tissue conditioner for the time being and then with the permanent relining material trim of any projections can be done okay okay Coming to the post-operative care and patient instructions. So, of course, we have to do a recall in the first 24 hours. So, we should advise the patient not to have hot liquids, alcohol, and do not keep rinsing. If you keep rinsing, you are going to dislodge the clot, so don't do that. And first 24 hours, do not rem uh, remove the denture as um, it will form a, a clot, uh, you know, of blood and uh, things should be okay. If the patient keeps removing, there will be bleeding and patient will not be able to wear it back, okay? Ice pack for 20 minutes has to be put on inflammation, swelling and discoloration. Premature removal denture, of course, will be very hard to be reinserted. So, no, patient should not touch it. Patient education about pain, extraction and removal of the denture should be given. Antibiotic regimen has prescribed after 24 hour visit uh, ask for patients uh, sore spots any sore spots which are appearing to be such color strawberry red that is like the bright red uh, spots canine uh, on near the canine, canine eminence any lateral tuberosities posterior limit areas retro myeloid undercut area anything has to be trimmed off um, has to be relieved basically okay so any gross occlusal discrepancies has to be adjusted. It has to be evaluated for attention. Okay. Now, first, after the first operative, post-operative week recall. So, you have to counsel the patient to wear for seven more days and uh, see how things work. After 24 hours, patients should be taught about removal, reinsertion of the denture. Okay. Uh, so, the patient should be able to rinse at least three to four times to keep the extraction sites clean yeah uh, after one week sutures can be removed and patient can begin removing the dentures at night so first week after post-operative is usually the normal denture issue instructions we give to a patient after one week in a conventional denture okay but yes there is an extraction show socket to be taken care of okay and if any uh, antibiotic regimen has to be continued it should be if not then uh, you know uh, uh, then it should not be required okay so guys that is it uh, coming to the summary uh, immediate dentures fulfill an important role in today's treatment modalities by providing the patient with aesthetics function and psychological support after extraction and during the healing phase the technique is more demanding than the regular complete dentures for both the patient and the dentist if the patient is well prepared and the appropriate type of immediate denture is selected, the resulted process, processes can be successful. So basically, guys, if done well, uh, the patient will be satisfied. But yes, the problems are trans are not possible in all the type of cases and uh, most of the cases. And 
a relining has to be done. Yes, patient comfort is there at some point, but slowly things can go down better with the patient and uh, we are always there to help the patient. So uh, things can be done from the dentist side. and But patient has to be very well informed about this immediate denture concept and has to be told about advantages, disadvantages, problems they are going to face and everything um, because uh, later it gets a little difficult to deal with the patients. Okay. Okay. All right, guys. So thanks so much for patients, patient listening and uh, let me know if there are any questions. I am always, always in Polyclinic 3, Prosol Lab, uh, Prosol Department. Let me know. Come and talk to me. Read about this. Uh, you can refer to any of the complete denture textbooks for this. Okay. Thank you.